What is up, YouTubers? My name is Nathan, and you're watching Robot Masters, where it's all about learning about the coolest robots. And today, we have the new Roborock stack. Yes, this is the Pancake stack, just came out from Roborock. I'm just kidding with you guys. Actually, I have the Roborock S5 on the bottom, and the Roborock S6 up top. And if you guys are new to robots, don't fret, because I'm going to show you how to set these guys up really easily using the app. So stay tuned. We got the Roborock out of the box, and now we got four main components that we need. The robot, the docking station, a smartphone, either Android or iPhone, and the power cable. So, one nice thing about the docking station is if you remove the cover, backing, you can actually route the cable. So let's go ahead and get that going. I really like they added this feature. Makes it very clean setup. Okay. And of course my wrapping skills are about as good as my hunting skills, which are non-existent. Okay, eventually I'll get this going. Do apologize. So I hope you guys are all having a great day today. So let me know in the comments what your favorite robot vacuum is, or favorite robot in general. Honestly, my favorite robot of all time is the Spot Mini. Um, it's by Boston Dynamics. I love that robot. It's in a cool black and yellow paint scheme, and it has a very cool robotic arm that kind of snakes out. It can do dishes, it can fall on bananas, it can also open up doors. Very cool. I am waiting for that robot to come out, and if I'm lucky, I can get one. So, as you get all wrapped up, just go ahead and put the cover back on. Just a snap in place. Next, let's go ahead and get the charger plugged in. Okay, so just for testing purposes, uh, you do want to have a nice open area. You don't want to have any objects near it, but I'm just going to do this location for now just to show you how to set up the robot. But in the instruction manual, you want to have, I think it's like a foot and a half of space on either side and about a couple feet outward. So this is just for testing purposes. Ignore this little dongle thingy. Um, I'm just doing it at this location. Okay, and one thing to note is you can actually have the cable come out this way or this way. All right, let's go ahead and grab our Roborock S6 contacts right here to slide it up with these two metal charging contacts. Okay, so it is best to let the robot charge. Um, usually, I let it sit for about six hours. Um, I will post in the description exactly how long the charge really takes, but this is just from the top of my head. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started. So let's just jump into this Roborock app here. It's called the Me Home app. My Roborock S5 hooked up and I called it Basic Hippo. I like to give my robots very unique names. So let's see. Let's go ahead and click the Add button. It's top right corner. So one thing to note is once you first get the app, We'll have you put in all your normal information, name, email address, stuff like that. You can just go ahead and fill that out and then you get to this main home screen. Okay, and we're going to actually select our robot. So you can either search it up top or you can actually go and find it. So it's under the Home Appliance tab. And it's the Roblox S6. And it's telling you exactly what to do. You can't. Uh, connect to it, but it kind of shows you what to do. So let's go ahead and uh, do that So the two fingers Resetting Wi-Fi Okay, very nice. I like the voice prompts Okay, and it's already found my network uh, that's basically my network and then to put in that password, but you can always change the network um, Just from this tab here you can change it and then you just put in the new password and this one actually allows you to uh, See your password, so I'll show you that 
see how it changes. And now you can see your password. Very cool. It's a very clean app. Um, I would say that iRobot takes the cake in app integration, but Roblox isn't too far behind. So let's go ahead and click next. And now we are gonna connect to the robot. So what you do, this is what a lot of these robot vacuums have to do is they connect directly to the phone, then to the robot. So that's what this process is doing. So let's go ahead and jump into our Wi-Fi settings. I do like the fact that it allows you to jump right into it. Um, some apps actually just show you how to do it. So you push the home button, settings, and then just go to your Wi-Fi network. Android's a little bit different. You could just drop down from the top of the screen and click your settings icon up top. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into the robots network, which is right there. That Roborock Vacuum S6. And this is an unsecured network. Uh, some robot vacuums do have a simple password like 1111, 2222, or they do 1234, something very basic. Okay, it's showing that I'm connected. So next thing is we have to jump back into the app. So on the iPhone, I double click on the home button and I can jump back into it. So this is where the robot is communicating with the phone to the robot and it's gonna uh, also connect to the, the router as well. So we'll just let that guy sit there for a while. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, so while we sit here and wait, I'm going to go ahead and talk your ear off. I do apologize. I love to talk. It's all about me. I'm just kidding. No, actually, I built this channel around you guys. I really want you guys to love robots as much as I do. I live in an age where robot vacuums are getting so smart they can literally take over a lot of our tasks, especially for the cleaning tasks, mopping, vacuuming, stuff like that. There's also window robots. Uh, there's actually a cleaning toilet robot. There's a bunch of robots out there. So, all right, it looks like it's connected and let's see what's next. So it's telling me, where is this robot located? Uh, we'll just say it's in the dining room for now. Okay, we can give it a name. Sure, we'll just keep that Roblox as six, but later on I'll name it. Um, share device with, uh, I don't have any devices to share with. I just get started. And now it's initializing. Oh, I got a firmware update. That's nice. Uh, what is that? Update is 3.4.5 underscore 0524. Let's go ahead and update. Maybe it can do the dishes. Just kidding. Uh, I hope you guys understand my quirky um, jokes sometimes. I like to make fun of myself on camera. So that's basically some legal information. And let's go ahead and update. And we'll go ahead and set that guy back down and apologize for my camera. Nope. It's, hope you guys can see that. Okay, so it's uh, updating and um, we're gonna go ahead and continue talking about Robot Masters. So this channel, again, is all about Keeping you guys interested in robot vacuums, um, I do my This may take five to ten minutes. Thank you for interrupting me. Just kidding. Uh, you, you're awesome, whoever you are. It's probably uh, Skynet or someone watching above. But anyways, yeah, um, I built this channel mainly to keep you guys interested in robots. Um, feel free to comment below if you have any questions about robots. Uh, Basically, I will research the answer if I do not know the answer on the top of my head, but I'm pretty familiar with how these robot vacuums work and operate. A lot of them have similar technology. Um, so, for example, one of the main technologies that robots can navigate with is called a LiDAR sensor. It's basically a spinning laser that measures the distance from where it's at to the wall. But the only difference between this spinning laser and, let's say, a uh, self-driving car that Google implemented is this is a 2D laser sensor. That means it only has a single point in a plane where the Google cars have a 3D sensor where they can get multiple points within a given space to create a 3D image.
So what's unique about this laser system is it's actually using angles, like basic trigonometry, to figure out the distance. Uh, this is a lot cheaper method to go. It requires less processing power. Also, the sensor is a lot cheaper. Okay, let's see if I can just push a button here. Starting to clean. No, I didn't want that. On charging. You kind of have to take out your discretion. It's been a while. And let's see if the thing updated. Uh, let's go into settings. You might have to try again. Unfortunately, sometimes these updates don't go the first time. I'm kind of glad it didn't so I can show you what to do if it doesn't. So all I did was just back out of the app. Uh, there's a little icon right up here. I just pushed that. It's going to check updates. There you go. So it did work. Um, so if it's been idle for more than like maybe an hour and a half, I would just push that back button, try again, and now it's just showing it's up to date. So it was just a minor glitch in the app. But overall, the pairing process was really easy. If you like this type of video, please smash the like button. It really helps me determine if this video is successful or not. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to Robot Masters. We cover all the cool robots, and I go over in-depth reviews, overviews, unboxings, extreme testings, you name it. And lastly, I also respond to your comments right away, and I do daily updates, which no other YouTuber does on these robot vacuums. So, stay tuned.